Mr. Look at this man, it's like he's frozen. That's right. Hold that pose. See how long you can do it. I'm counting. <laughs> All right, where, where the priest of the nine? He didn't come out yet. You are still... Really? Your arms are gonna get tired after a while. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, Blade, over here. Now that we're back in our Nema, let's go inside the Temple of the Divines. We need to speak to the, the Priest of the Nine. Oh, everybody might be sleeping. Oh, that's right, he, uh... They sleep down there. What is that? The station, I think they call it. All right, come on. Well, wow, everybody sleep. Oh, except this man cutting wood. are taken well I'm gonna sit in this chair maybe one of y'all call curl up on the rug or something and we'll just wait everyone Reman blessings upon you upon Keep you too. safe priest of the nine all right we'll um talk in the the temple Ugh. They're back at it again. Mister, this man is like he's frozen. That's right. Hold that pose. See how long you can do it. I'm counting. <laughs> All right, where where? The priest of the nine, he didn't come out yet. You are still... Really? Your arms are gonna get tired after a while. Anyway. Let's see, I need to make an adjustment here. Turn that off. I suppose we'll wait for the priest of the nine to get here. Still no sign of him. inspect. While not removed from the premises, Talos Shrine has been separated from the others. Talos worship has recently been on decline in High Rock. 
Thus the white gold concordat enforcement has been marked with some leniency. Knowledge of Talos' Breton roots has faded into obscurity. The Reachmen regard Tiber Septum as another conqueror and oppressor, while most local Bretons simply believe him to have been a dishonorable and bloodthirsty Nord. <laughs> All right. Xenathar, I pray to you. A battle axe of incompetence. <laughs> okay. Suppose it's time to level up too. Let me concentrate. Alright, we're gonna go with health. I don't think we need any more health after this. Done well. Any sign of the priest of the nine. I guess I should have talked to him while we were there in the in the station. Let's go back over here and see if he's still inside. Uh-huh, I knew you couldn't hold that sword for very long. There he is, still in here. Make your peace. Make your peace. Yeah! Another gutter rat! I'll kill you if I have to. Make your peace. Uh. <laughs> this is your last mistake. Make your peace. Ah. You won't get the best of me! There's no escape! <laughs> Lucky hit. Weak technique. Lucky hit. Smart, huh? Bend our shield. Bend. Charging in your end. Bastard. Oh, he's still not messing with me. You're out there. Ah. Oh 
she spoke. Lucky hit. Mercy. Ah. No heart. Have you no Bastard. heart? Bastard. You ah. Thank your peace. See if if my men would just give yeah. up. Lucky hit might be pieces. over. Ah. All right, enough of this. Okay. I think we need to wait in here because you all just want to get into trouble. Let the priest make his way up there to the temple. Just come on, just leave these men alone. That's it. Come on. Look at, like y'all two just wanna start some trouble. Okay, good, he's here now. Priest. Good day. Good day to you. Farewell. All right, let's see if we can't get one of these um, main quests going. Hopefully, I can speak to the priest. Here you are. We meet again. How fare you? Well, maybe I can't speak to you. Well, let me try this one again. I came across an ominous ruin deep beneath the earth on my travels. The architecture was elven in design. Know anything about it? You most likely came across remnants of Durenian civilization. A wonder to modern architects and laborers alike that their structures still hold after all these years. Even the marble still shines, not having succumbed to the ruinous elements that erode our walls every so often. How did it feel? Was the air strangely fresh? No, it was pungent. How bizarre. That's not characteristic of the Dureni at all. Wait, yes. Not Dureni at all, but Aeliad. The Aeliad embassy built by those Dureni all those millennia ago. Dureni, Aeliads. I'm not so familiar with these peoples. What are their relations? You've heard of the Elysian Empire, surely. And their revolt against the Aeliads of old Cyrodiil. Ages before the Empire came to be. Alright, well that's enough. Then I needn't bore you with yet another recital. No, you need That slave revolt, having swept over large swathes of Cyrodiil, had then turned their gaze west to the Dureni hegemony, now High Rock. Desperate and engulfed in panic, the Dureni pulled to whoever they could from what remained of the Aeliad, one prominent figure with the moniker of the last king, Dinah by name, who had followed that fleeing diaspora and what did this Dinar do? Some accounts said he was an exile, despondent to the suffering of his alien kin, and had only wanted to join the Dureni cause to indulge in the slaughter. Hmm. 
The Dureni built his stalwart stronghold at the very interstice of the warring forces, and that last king couldn't have been happier. So, these elves were allied. What came of this situation? A very desperate alliance, to speak the truth. In no other situation would that vile king interact with an outsider, let alone send aid for his kin. When the first Elysian stepped into his periphery, the nightmare was unleashed. The Reach had turned into some damned oblivionscape that would send any timid soul running to the other end of Tamriel. Then what? And so did many of the Elysians, though the accounts made exceptions for the Nords among them, who even in the face of ultimate terror had traversed the Dark Realm right to the doorstep of that king's squalid hovel. Losing many through hideous traps, terrific rituals, and the sadistic alien subordinates who relished in those spiteful skirmishes. So the last king was defeated. That's what the tomes show, though such a being that was surely the product of Daedric Consort could have just faded into the arms of whatever prince he knelt to. When they did breach the inner sanctum, scholars had talked of the interior being a patchwork of human bodies stitched together from one end of the giant hall to the other. The king and his debauched alien underlings were seemingly unfazed about the assailants at the gate, still immersed in their profaned work. This allowed those forlorn Nords to approach. Upon realizing that his artistry was meddled with, he recoiled and flayed those unfortunate souls who made their advance, almost in an instant. Then came the cacophony of screams, killing those further back immediately after. Sounds like an impossible ordeal. How was he killed? When it proved futile that mere men weren't up to the task, Alesia had called upon a friend. All evidence and descriptions of this person pointed to one candidate. Polineal. Polineal White Strake, I believe, is who you're referring to. And what did the scribe say of the battle itself? Those scribes of the time spoke of him entering the sanctum and having the gate sealed behind. What followed was a cosmic clash of noise and magic reverberations that had shaken rock and stone, where even the very ground seemed to sink into the depths. And he triumphed, right? People had fled. Tension gripped those who thought Polineal had fallen. Yet among the rubble, that metal-clad hand had erupted from the heap. So the filthy king of spite was no more, and the Elysians continued their march west. Hey. The Reach seems to have many horrific yet engaging stories. Not often do the clouds part, and we have a simple tale which can be spun to the young. If you're looking for such stories, then Evermore and those lands further west will be your calling. Though looking at you, such light-hearted tales would quickly grow to bore. All right, I was hoping that you were going to give me some kind Good of fortune. a quest. And you didn't. So what else have we got? Let's see here. I should speak with the priest again. I don't want to talk about lore. I want a quest. Blessings for your future journeys. Let's go. There seems to be something outside. Let's go. Go to the meeting place. All right. It looks like it's over this way. Listen to the meeting, there's nobody here. I suppose we just have to wait. Oh look, here comes somebody. I think this is Mortifane, who wouldn't talk to us before.
Is anybody else coming? Mortifying. Oh, he still won't talk to me. Oh, here's somebody else is coming. It's the priest. What? Well, I didn't Here. hear. I didn't like hear anything. This a token of my friendship. All right, so there was a meeting, and I didn't hear a da a daggone thing. Priest. Come for aid. Oh no, this is still still not getting what I need. Priest. Come for aid. I'm gonna do this lore. In fear of tooting my own horn, I would say immeasurably, considering that the clergy have congealed with royalty. The two castes have governed in tandem and continue to do so in some kingdoms. Every lord and king has his own priest. Sometimes they keep up traditions, but most commonly to convene meetings with other kingdoms via the priest's relations to one another, normally overseen by the priest's circle. All right, I'm not. I'm not even gonna ask. All right, so let's see here. Let's go ahead and see if we can't still continue the quest. Okay. Priest. Good day. All right. Is seeking out this Rados really a good use of our time? What if he refuses to help? In any other circumstance, I would have directed you to a duty more befitting your skills. Such is the times where we have to rely on the vague potential of heroic progeny. Rados would mean more than his utility to this town. Having the very descendant don the iconic armor of that bygone hero would instill a new sense of hope and morale within all of us. I needn't tell you how the guards have been found lacking in principles recently. I've noticed. It's hard not to. I want to spur a drive within them again. Have them motivated for our future. No better way than the return of an idol that they can all rally behind. But what if Rados refuses to come? If he refuses now, we'll just send someone again. You're beginning to understand our desperation, I take it. <laughs> I am now. We have ways of coercing people, and no. I'm a priest, and wouldn't tread the path of violence just to intimidate innocence into doing my bidding. I will show them our plight, and hope that some facet of their conscience would concede. So, where else is it that we need to go? Hmm. Here, to bypass Evermore through the cistern at Lonesome Edge. All right, let's go. First of all, Mara Maul, I have to thank you for communing with Mara. I think it's through her grace that we've been able to continue on these quests. Now, let's see, who is it we need to talk to now? Through the mines. Now, oh, I have a key. All right. I, 
thought we might get stuck again. this iron. Okay, look out. Random. Steel Dagger of Fear. We supposed to be collecting pickaxes, yes. Silver. Um, I guess I'm can I get down here or am I gonna get stuck? Oh. oh look another pickaxe. And another one. Just to make sure that I end up with a pickaxe when it's all said and done. More silver. It's the way we came in. Alright, how about this way? Evermore an adventurer. Hmm, this is an, some nice armor. All right, so it's not this way either. Wait. Here's another passage. Alright. I'm gonna need a lantern or something. This is ridiculous. I'm trying not to give away my position, but I can't see. Oh, who's this? A beggar. Hello? Wow. 
I just wanted to talk. I don't want to pickpocket you. All right. Through the cistern. Suppose it's safe. All right. Well, let's continue. Hello. Need something? Do you like living so close to the Argonians? Khajiit despised those lizards. Rather than their scales be worn as a coat, but they swim good and catch a lot of fish. Whatever. Hello? Hmm? Excuse mm -hmm. me. Well, at least y'all are... Oh, look. Not hostile. Oh, whatever it was, it... Didn't give me anything. Some boots of sneaking. side over there. No, oh, here's an Argonian. I was wondering. Hello? Wondering why I was asking why they like living so close to them. Have questions? Not really. Until next time. Yep. Oh, look at this. A griffin statue. A winged griffin. Sure, the people here probably worship that creature we saw when we first got here. Okay, now. How do we get to where we need to go? Alright, here's a. Looks like a winding staircase. Might take me somewhere. That was nice, no hostility. Oh. Hello? Yes? Until next time. All right. Did it? Head towards Rados. Now I wonder why we had to go through the cistern when we've already been to uh to Bandra. 
still determined to use this shy nettle for something. Um, alright, this way. Are you so busy? Good to see you again. I think we have may have to wait. Let me see if uh his rattles yeah, it's is locked. I'm not sure there was an in here. We'll just wait. Still not up yet. All right, here we go. Rados, is that you? What's with the gormless face? Yeah. What's with the gormless face? Ah, oh, this is too bad. Be on your way. Well, I'm out of favors tomorrow, and it doesn't look like we can interact with these people. What's with the gormless face? I tried. Really wanted to see what uh, this mission was all about, but it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to do it. All right, Maramal. Let's see if we can't find any other things to do before we head back to Skyrim. Blade, come on, let's go. 